G'day guys, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade and yes, look at what we have in front of us here guys, this is an unbelievable development that we have in the VR arcade world and I just want you to just stop and feast your eyes on what is going on in this room here. You'll see some beautiful big arcade machines, special deluxe editions. You'll see a lot of the classic machines. Um, sit down outrun, Sega uh, holographics, Sega Afterburner, and Afterburner Climax, the latest one. Um, Thunderblade, Space Harrier, and guys, R360. R360 is here, guys. And if you want to know, yes, it's fully operational. It moves. It spins you around in VR, guys. You get to experience that. Galaxy Force, big beat mania in the middle there. Come down a little lower and past hang on power drift red mobile wing warrior another turbo outrun um, in the cabinet that actually I have initial D Sega Rally 3 Daytona USA a championship no less Mario Kart DX, some beautiful big Darius 2, Ninja Warriors guys, Star Wars Cockpit, TX1 triple screen, and what do we have up here guys, Star Wars Battle Pod, and yes guys, it all works, <laughs> it all works, Tato top landing, flying in from above, Sinistar down there, T-Mech, Stunrunner, Star Trek, Spy Hunter Cab, Got APB, some classic four player cabs in the middle here, Super Sprint, got my Spacey's Arcade logo flying through the middle here and we've even got the Spacey's leaderboard not currently scrolling but that would normally scroll have all your high scores if you get onto our discord forum guys you can participate in that and I will see your high scores when I am in this virtual arcade oh let's not forget discs of Tron guys <laughs> discs of Tron look at that thing glowing some 80s videos playing pole position up here on the wall cocktail machines the special missile command that big stand up one sitting next to the beautiful battle zone and of course some staple classics here with Popeye Donkey Kong Jr gauntlet Guys, it's going to stutter a little bit because I'm obviously filming at the same time. This is taking quite a lot of resources. Um, but I need to tell you, right, what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on with the DDR as well that I forgot to mention going around there? Guys, this is not arcade time capsule. This is actually EMU VR is what we're in. And... This is a, an extension pack that has been uh, provided. Um, it's an arcade expansion pack for MUVR. It uses a custom version of the WIGU module, which is called WIGU X. It's not actually formally supported, but it's supported by those that have released that and are doing customized mods for it. 
And so if you go to the EMU VR Discord forum, there is a user generated content thread for the entire pack and that is being provided by the incredible and amazing Team GT. If you look for Team GT there on the EMU VR Discord forum guys in the user generated content thread you will see he is responsible <coughs> for this he is responsible for putting all these cabinets together now he has used a lot of models from Age of Joy and so a lot of the models um, should pay some thanks to the Age of Joy designers who have generously shared their work and allowed Team GT to get in here, add some additional coding to provide a lot of extra benefits, guys, that <laughs> you'll spin out. You'll spin out because, as I said, these not only work, but they move. So your Outrun Deluxe, it moves, guys. <laughs> it moves. All right, so we probably need to show a few things uh, in action here, but... Yeah, I just wanted you to get a bit of a feel. I mean, ultimately, in EMU VR here, if I just bring up the menu, you can see these are all the, the games. And I don't have all the, all the games actually out on the floor at the moment. And this floor that design that I've created, I mean, again, pick up any of these cabs, guys. Bring it into the arcade, okay? Where do you want it? All right, and then you can stick it where you want and lock it into place and there you go got double dragon a very good spot for it have to add a cartridge and so forth we're not going to do all that now we're not doing all the setup and showing you how it works i will do that and i will show you uh just how to how to do what i've achieved here over a series of videos because we're going to kind of keep coming back in here guys because the possibilities now are limitless in consideration of you being able to just set up your own arcade let's get rid of that double dragon set it up how you want <clears throat> um, so in the pack you won't find this room because this is a room that I spent three days <laughs> three days creating and I, it was just purely just moving stuff around guys and if this is one of the amazing things about MUVR and it being customized uh, and your ability to customize it is it's hard to set up an arcade. It's actually really, really difficult, especially having one that sort of works and you're walking around, you want to be in. Um, and, you know, we can get it a little darker in here. If I get myself out of this mode, we can um, turn off these, these lights. We want to get a little bit more arcade ambience and yeah, guys, we can then just, you know, fire up some games here. And the incredible thing is it just, just blows my mind. So this is all just, these are running now the ROMs concurrently. Um, which is just incredible, and of course, if you've got your music going and everything, then you know you've got your own little arcade happening here, guys. Uh, it's different to the arcade time capsule because the arcade time capsule has videos playing on every single machine. Because to emulate everything on here, you're going to bring your computer down to a to a halt, unfortunately. Um, you're going to need a fairly decent rig to run this. I'll put my specs in the description below. But uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you can still, you could be playing a game here and, and have the other ones running. And you, these aren't videos, of course, they are the actual ROMs. So that is a benefit. But of course, you can't have the entire arcade on. So you sort of miss that total ambience that you would get, like with the ar arcade time capsule. And guys, I don't want to compare the two too much. I mean, obviously, they're both virtual arcade environments, but in my mind, they are actually very, very different. Um, and this, to me, fills a, a, a gap for creating a customized arcade, almost like a home arcade, uh, whereas the arcade time capsule is just a stunning recreation of Half-Deck's vision for 
the different arcade uh, levels that he's set up in there and at a level of quality that is second to none. Um, and there's a, there's a whole ex beautiful experience to enjoy with that. And I, I feel like that, that experience is very much the one that you go to when you want to go visit an arcade because it's all set up in, in the way that the creator wanted. Well, in here, you have the option of just creating a little home arcade. Quality of some of the models won't be quite as, uh, well, definitely won't be good as half text because he's, he's gone to the extreme. But they can improve over time. And, you know, the amazing thing here is that we've got all these massive cabinets, we've got a whole load of these deluxe cabinets. Um, it's, 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 <laughs> it's incredible, guys. It is incredible. And yeah, as I said, you just, you know, fire up a row of machines. And then if you want to just, you know, go and play, play those ones. This one hasn't fired up. Let's try that one again. There we go. Sometimes EMU VR does that for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, you know, there is an easy shortcut of actually stopping these cabs, guys, and for whatever reason, I can't seem to find it on my controller anymore. <laughs> so I just take the cartridges out. Um, let's just whack another light back on the scene for the moment. Get ourselves too dark in here. Just uh, shine it up a little bit. And even before we get on to some of the big moving cabs, uh, guys, I've got a nice paper boy in here. Cabs like uh, All Points Bulletin um, actually has created that again there we go it's booted so he's actually created little scripts to actually get the lights and stuff going uh, in the game now it's not triggered by MAME like hooking into MAME so he's actually got it on the, the button itself so if I actually get myself engaged with this machine you can see I can turn the steering wheel if I push this button I've actually got the ability to have the flash <laughs> the flashing lights guys so this is the extra sort of dynamic that he's added to these machines um, and when you play them that you can engage and and do that um, but I, I just I can't I can't. <laughs> I can't even again guys I just oh, we're just so spoiled now between this visual pinball VR and the arcade time capsule, like, it's insane. T Mac, what a cab. This is Stun Runner. Fire that up while this one's loading. Man. <laughs> Got our top lander up the top there, just, uh, Look at this beautiful big monitors that you're sitting in here. You know, finally can experience some of these big cabinets that you may have enjoyed as a child, in your childhood, teenage years. And now you've got them here to enjoy in glorious VR. And guys, I say it every time, YouTube's just not, <coughs> not gonna show the extent of what it's like to be in this environment in 3D because you, you're literally in the environment you're in your own custom arcade looking up here open up the door, top lander and you'll see in here we've got a little out of order sign guys got a little Wreck-It Ralph out of, out of order sign and that's because, I just hop myself into my little, uh, I need a ladder guys, if someone wants to create a little user generated content ladder for me, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I could stick it here, climb up into the, uh, into the top lander. The graphics are glitchy, and so that's why we have an out of order sign. But this is a cool little cab, 
and the fact that you can look outside and also outside on this cab it's got a little viewing monitor what an awesome cab that is <laughs> what an awesome cab that is so yeah i have to find a, a better rom i can only find the one rom for that one i just need a different main version and uh we'll get that one going at some point So yeah guys, uh, obviously you guys are probably busting to see the uh, Star Wars Battle Pod, we'll get to that. Plenty of time, let's uh, have a look at uh, TX1, triple screen, what a beautiful cab. And of course I've had to go on a real Tatsumi version of this cab. Um, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. So, am I actually going here? Oh, I, I am, but I didn't have, oh, I might have to use the, uh, use the little hand controller. Let's see if I can actually play this. Uh, no, <laughs> I have to set, set it up. And set up the controls on all these guys. I've literally just gone around and got everything going. Oh, many of the games working. Some of the car ones going. I'll play a bit of Outrunner. We get round to that. Um, Star Wars. Now this model is a beautiful model. Whoever did it, it needs to be updated slightly though. There should be a big 25-inch screen in the Star Wars cockpit. That looks to me like about a 20-inch. But nonetheless, it's Star Wars, guys. I think the yoke might need to be just a tad bigger, I'm not sure. Uh, I do have access to one of these. Good mate Cal has one. But that is also a beautiful thing <laughs> to be able to enjoy. Where's the card on this one? Don't know where it is on the side, is it? Yeah, it's down the, down the side there. Chuck it back in there. Now Darius, look at these triple screen, double screen type cabs. Now, interesting thing with this one, if I got to press another button to open it up, there we go, and now I start it. And now we have the full, uh, if it's gonna start, let's try that again. Um, now we have the, the full, three monitor reflection setup that you would have in an arcade now it doesn't show the three actual monitors down below this is the limitation of how it's done but this is a really really nice effect guys because this gives you that that sense of being in a big darius 2 cabinet and having the screens reflected like it is in the cab <laughs> it's just a, amazing to me and same thing with uh, this one here. That's another triple screen. Guys, are you uh, are you blown away? <laughs> are you blown away by this? Now, you know, the cabs that I've chosen in here, many of them I've chosen just to really sort of show off the environment and the you know the different types of cabs that you can put in here I don't this wouldn't necessarily be my ultimate arcade room but get this guys this is just one room of of many so you, there's each of this room this particular room design is actually a user generated content room itself so think of the implications of that people could create an entire environment to mimic and mirror any arcade one back from the past or current and populate it out with machines to replicate that environment and you can have multiple and flick between floors and we haven't even touched on some things that aren't even in here guys like you can at the moment he's got it set up with pinball effects but you could have any you could have vpx running through a capture core and have pimple tables as well but of course they're going to be 2d in vr you're not going to get full 3d vr 
within a VR environment. Unfortunately, that's not possible yet. But you can still do pinball as well. Um, and, and there's some other things that, yeah, I, I'm going to get to in some other videos because I just can't, I can't show everything, all the possibilities. Like, at the end of the day, this is almost like the ultimate front end now for all emulation. I mean, remember, this is EMU-VR, so you can hop back into your little EMU-VR bedroom and you could, you know, run all your consoles. We could bring all your consoles in here. You could sort, you could cordon off a corner of this room and recreate what you had in your bedroom and have all your arcades behind you. Just do anything you want, guys. And you know, it's actually limitless. So Mario DX and um, Daytona, uh, Sega Rally Three, and uh, Initial D, and there's a ton of other techno parrot games here guys that could be loaded into these machines so yeah guys you can see we have daytona usa championship loaded up now the sound won't be the same mix because this of course is running techno parrot in the background so i mean we put those technicalities another time but you can play any of your Technic Parrot games in here, guys. How incredible. Now, you can't run multiple of these up at the same time, of course, um, because it'd just be too much, too taxing on the resources. So there is that. So there are some trade-offs, but at the end of the day, you know, it's too easy to just play what you want to play. And... You know, again, with some music and stuff, you can have a great time enjoying all your favourite cabs and then just switch up between rooms. It's, um... <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, I've got uh, control set up for this one. Yeah, I've got to get. I've got to get all the. Oh yeah, no, that's that's acceleration. But I don't think it's full. I've got to set set that up and retry. So guys, yeah, there's some control stuff that I do need to sort out. But as you can see, it's still all operational. Just got to spend some time getting all those controls done. <laughs> what? And look at this Galaxy Force Two. Version 2, all the lights around here, and we fire this up. Look at that, all lights up. What a machine! What a machine! Look at this beautiful monitor. All right, guys, so once you're in, we can uh, crank in some coins. Press the uh, the start button. I might need to use the controller for this. Let's try. And now, when when I move, you'll see that the cabinet, the cabinet guys, moves around. And if I had this position, so it was pointing out more that way than the wall, then it would be even more impactful. It sort of is here when I'm looking around. But guys, this is full, full animated cabs. Play your favorite massive deluxe arcade machines, which are so hard to find in the wild now. When was the last time you saw a Galaxy Force out there and working? And now you can, guys. <laughs> it's just, it, it's, yeah, I have no words, I have no words, I've been setting this thing up for days, and uh, it still just blows me away, look how beautiful that is, 
again thanks to Team GT and of course Emu VR the base platform that this all runs on and everyone else who participates in that community and provides user generated content again thank you guys because you know I just at a loss <laughs> a loss for words I'll fire up Beat Mania and let it go it takes ages to boot R360 guys, are we game enough to get into the R360? Let me give it a try. Outside monitor. The sound on this is pretty crazy. Turn it down a bit. <laughs> now, I don't think I've actually, because like I had it all set up and I did test the movements. But I didn't actually start a game, but let's, um, because once you actually get in here, <clears throat> if I engage the machine now, just reposition myself first. So yeah, I've got, so at the moment we're not in the game, but you can see that the outside is rotating around when I move the stick. Now, this I've got some sort of issue where if I let go, it's just rotating around, so I'm not sure why it's why that's happening. Um, I'll get back in, so that's reset it. So let me let me see if I can start here. Okay, we've got the bar. We're a little bit we're a little bit back. Oh, do I actually click this through? It says to lower the safety bar, and I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> All right, so guys, I need to. There's more I need to check here, but you can you can see how I can if I just move. He's got it hooked up so that the controller actually moves the machine, so it won't spin around in accordance to the ROM. That's the only thing. Uh, it will just give you a sensation of as you move, you'll be moving moving with it. Um, but yeah, I have to work out how to do the lower safety thing again. Haven't haven't had a game on it yet, so something that we can enjoy, come back to. Uh, but it, it's there, guys, and, and and it works. It's a little bit of a shame, of course, it's not a, a main hook and able to exactly execute, uh, you know, the movements according to the code. But still, guys, it's it's pretty special. Here you go, Beat Mania is. Uh, just fired itself up for those that like it. No touch controls on there at the moment, it's keyboard, but if you put yourself in a controller, had a, a, a hard-coded controller hooked up through your PC, of course, anything's possible, guys. Anything is possible. Got Power Drift. Such a cool game. Classic. Again, another one that I haven't yet tried, but we have full movement on this one as well. You can see. Again, just as we as we move, um, and so yeah, full movement. Very high of acceleration. <laughs> no. Try the controller again. And you can see the, the controller's gone straight over. So as soon as I put the Xbox controller in, it's got itself out of whack a bit. It seems to be conflicting with the VR controls. But again guys, you get the idea. Full control. <laughs> oh boy, hang on. Get yourself on the bike, guys. Play some of that. And <sighs> Space Harrier, Thunderblade, Duro Racer. Just fire them all up. And again, if you wanted to play this, and I've always wanted to play this actually, seen it in the Sega 
uh, multi-story arcade in Japan on YouTube videos, guys, but never had the opportunity. Well, now, now you can. Stick moves. That's the got the movement of the chair. So, yeah. Once I, again, once I set up all the all the controls properly, be able to play all of these. What happened here? In space, uh, space Harrier didn't fire up. Enduro Racer had one of those. It didn't even got it working though. And sold it on. I can play it now. Space Harrier will be another one that will have yeah full tilting movement to the when you play. Get ready. All this positional stuff again, it's just things I need to iron out guys. Um, just in terms of the position once you first first get in and enable yourself. You can move yourself up and down. But um, yeah, you can see Welcome to the fantasy zone. Looks like the whole room's moving, right? But that's crazy. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. So it's sort of bizarre because you sort of see the, the room sort of moving around because your head stays still. You sort of move back back a bit, you can sort of see everything moving around but your your head is sort of locked to the uh well it's not locked i mean you can still move it around but it's a strange sensation that's for sure but wow guys and if anything just in your sort of peripheral vision it's all there it's all there same deal afterburner and, you know, if I want to be cheeky here, I could fire up after being a climax at the same time. And guys, there you go. We have Afterburner Climax, as well as the original Afterburner running concurrently next to each other in the original machines. That move. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Sorcery. Engage this machine. Got the flashing lights in here. Again, it's enabled on a button. And you can see now I'm gonna, gonna move the machine. Of course the monitor moves like this when you're uh, when you're actually in the game. In the deluxe cab. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, like, most of these games all work on the VR controls. It might be just again the way I've got it set up how some of them don't, but um, it's also another thing just for some casual gaming, hop in these pads and do that. I don't necessarily need another set of controls. Um, but I tend to like getting the other controls if I really want to have a game. But yeah, guys, you know, and this is running... Techno Parrot's running there, and then you've got the rest of the, you know, the rest of the arcade. And again, it is going to be a little juddery because I'm recording as well. But it's, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty special. <laughs> it's pretty special. All right, we'll take this one out. So we're taking a bit of our resources. Um, where's the afternoon of cartridge? Put down there. Not sure, we'll leave the afterburner going. Leave the afterburner going guys. Get the outrun going. And so again, we've got full movement on the outrun. You get you get the picture now guys. You get the picture, right? Coliseum. Stuck these up on the uh, on the wall. They look like washing machines. 
<laughs> nice little effect there with the 180 curved screen and of course we're going to see more of that when we get that cartridge out when we uh, have a look at the Star Wars Battle Pod but just before we move off from here I uh, will say that the DDR here let's fire this up and so yeah um, again this is uh, through window capture it's running the PS2 emulator in the background capturing the window and providing it through the arcade cabinet so you can play it here I do have windows currently around here I need to configure that so I just recently upgraded the uh, PS2 emulator so I need to get, check those settings uh, but yeah th this is why guys if you really think about it you suddenly realize what's possible because you can run any emulation and any cabinet have additional scripting for movement and lights in a complete custom environment it's really is as i said before it's, it's limitless like <laughs> what you can do you can create all your custom arcades um, but yeah I mean if you want to, if you wanted to play all your classics uh, you can do so in here as well and what about Discs of Tron Some old RTR videos how cool is that how cool is that stand up environmental Discs of Tron and look, you know, some of the res of some of the graphics are a little low, uh, but again, these are just models and they can be improved and increased. I guess, I wonder how many you can have loaded, you know, when they start getting really high resolution in such a big arcade space. I mean, if you think about the EMU VR little bedroom, it's, you know, it's less than this little section here. And we've got all of this and all the polys going on um, you know it really does tax the system a little bit but having said that it's still perfectly capable and it is a lot smoother without me recording the screen at the same time in 4k you know this how many of these do you see in the wild these beautiful environmental missile commands you know, set yourself up with a trackball get that configured and uh, you can play it. <laughs> you can play it. So yeah, guys. Um, I think this is what I'm just going to show you today. Clearly, I've got some controls to set up. I just wanted to show you what I got up to because it's been like three days. Um, the other night, actually, I I, I was I had all the the lights off and I was playing um, this is probably on here let me make sure I turn the volume down there yeah so I was playing my 80s music here um, I fired up a few machines to give it some ambience um, and um, maybe turn the Oh, why can't I turn that off? Oh, I can do the old stop inside. Hang on, let me do that first. And yeah, guys, I was I was sitting here, and oh, we got our where's our spaces? Uh, get that restarted. I was sitting here, guys, and this is very much like I've got the garage set up with my own arcade machines, and funnily enough, I've got the leaderboard of the garage at a little spaces arcade. TV going and a, a monitor playing 80s music and of course it's not to the size and expanse and all these wonderful machines oh we haven't seen Star Wars we will come back to that last um, thank goodness I didn't forget um, but yeah I, it, 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 I sat back guys I, I just had a few beers and it was like sitting out in my little garage cave having a few beers and relaxing uh, you know just again enjoying some of the ambience it just you know and, and this is the thing about having a home arcade set up 
and doing it in VR. This is why it's very different to me than arcade time capsule because that to me is like going out to an arcade where everything's set up and running in a certain way and you take it for what it is and that's part of that awesome experience. But sometimes when you want to just sit back and you want to turn some games on, you want some attract, some not, sink a beer, take in the ambience, then this EMU VR, this arcade expansion is where it's at guys. And and you know, even though I've even though I've been living in this literally for three days to set all this up to show you, I just I still can't get over it. And the fact that, you know, you could bring in any of the user generated content, all the models and all the stuff that's already been created for EMU VR. There's just a bunch of arcades and a few things on the wall and a few capture screens. But all that other stuff, you know, stand up models and your favorite characters um put some rugs down i could bring the dog in <laughs> bring my dog in here guys oh guys so yeah let, let me let's just um let's turn off a, a little bit of the resource oh we don't really have to Actually, we could probably just see how it runs anyway with a few things going because you can have quite a few things going i actually set up a whole corner and had that all of those on and it was still working okay when i got around to around the corner here it then started to really start slugging and and so forth but yeah guys if we fire up star wars and if we head over <laughs> over to the battle pod because we don't have the full structure of the battle pod modeled guys but and this this is just insane insane when you're in VR. And yes guys, that is just an incredible experience. Had to cut the sound there because of uh, copyright of course on the Star Wars theme. Get a few lights back in here. And just hop myself back at the back of the room. Oh. <laughs> what guys what this is nuts this is nuts guys make sure you like subscribe comment ask me questions if you've got questions as i went through i'm bound to have missed some stuff as i was going through uh, you do need to get onto the emu vr forums to get access to this access is still restricted hop on to the Spacey's Discord forum, sometimes Webhead from um, over at MUVR provides some access uh, links from time to time. So get in there, 
can ask questions in there but ask questions below guys and then I'll follow it up uh, and I'll try and answer your questions and show you more about how to set this up I'll also show you that there's a whole load of default other levels that Team GT put in um, of his own I just wanted to show you this one as a starting piece because it was my setup I wanted to sort of just show you and, go, and sort of go through the experience of setting up an, a little arcade and as I said it did it took me it took me a good part of three days solid in VR just positioning cabs guys you wouldn't believe and doing it in a way where you know if, if in real life you could walk around and mean okay sure these ones up on the wall are a little bit stretching things a bit far but I was trying to get in as many cabs as possible uh, to show you and still have an ability to sort of walk around and it being a, a usable environment uh, again all the additional things you can add with MUVR with the user generated content you could just create something special you could have multi levels you could have a, a whole floor just dedicated to Tato games to Sega games and have other memorabilia and you'd spend so much time just designing levels <laughs> you may not play any games and as you can see I, I, I didn't even get to setting up all the controls I just got so excited from setting up all of this guys so I hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, if you haven't got VR really now is an awesome time to get VR all the details of my computer setup are in the description below uh, if you need any help it is it's not cheap guys i must admit you get a top end system but um, just think of everything that you can enjoy in vr not to mention of course all the other pc vr games and everything else you can do all right we shall leave it there i look forward to seeing you in the next one really do look forward to seeing your questions too and comments down below and i will hopefully get another video out to respond to those until then guys enjoy your new custom arcade creations look forward to seeing the stuff that you create till the next one ciao for now